How's it going guys, Mike here and I am just another UK gamer and today we have gotten the World War 2 DLC to the War Machine trophies on PlayStation. Now before we do go on ahead, I do apologise if this audio is a little bit echoey because I have moved into my new apartment and I have not fully set up my office yet so it could have a little bit of echo on it. I'm currently holding my microphone inside a freaking roll of tissue because I don't have my mic stand yet. I need to wait for my new mic stand to come through. So if it does sound a little bit bad, well, you know why now. So what I thought I'd do today is I've not even looked at these myself. I thought, well, since I've just woken up, it's now 9 a.m. in the morning. I thought well, we're going to get on, make a video, and we are going to look at these together. So when you come into PlayStation, as you can see, you now have the trophies. We have World War II, obviously, with the Resistance, and now we have the War Machine. Now, Let's just jump in. There's nothing else that I've really got to say other than leave a little cheeky like if you want to. But other than that, let's actually jump into these trophies. So the first one is a hidden trophy. Let's unveil that. In the Shadow Front, defeat the stat the What the hell does I even say? So basically, the Shadow Throne defeat the final boss, and I'm guessing the Stat T Jager. I think that's what it's Stat Jager. I think that's what it is. So defeat the Stad Jager. I'm pretty sure that's that final boss that we see on the trailer. I mean, everyone's saying it's not, but I honestly think that that big massive guy with the three heads and like the saw hand and what did he have in his other hand? Was like a little, is it a mini gun or was it like a big massive fist? I reckon that's going to be the final boss. What do you guys think? Do you think that's actually the final boss? Let's actually speak about this because there's so many people that are split in half right now thinking it isn't and thinking it's just the round boss zombie. But I honestly think that that is the final boss. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and let's move into the next trophy. Uh, the next trophy is Da ist gut in the Shadow Throne find the Uber Spragen. Right, we all know what this is again. It's just basically the Shadow Throne find the Packer Punch. Pretty self-explanatory. There's nothing more to say about that. We just got to find the Packer Punch. I'm hoping that this time there is a double Packer Punch. I wonder if there's actually a trophy for a double Packer Punch. That'd be a uh, That'd be kind of nice to see and hopefully a brand new camo because we've had the same camo now for two maps in a row. So hopefully this map we get a brand new sort of pack a bunch camo and we actually get to double pack a bunch. The third one is Ballistics Be Damned. In the Shadow Throne, reach wave 15 using only melee weapons. As you all know, well, if you've not seen in the trailer, um, Olivia, I think she's called, is holding a spiked bat. And obviously, people have been asking about these bats. And uh, Camera Dayton has confirmed that there is multiple melee weapons within this map. And they all do different things, add different damages, and have different speeds. So definitely something exciting to be doing. And I know that I will for sure be trying to get that wave 15 with melee weapons only. Of course, after the Easter egg is done, my guide's up, then I'm going to be trying this trophy. The next one is called Something Wonderful. I like that wonderful spell there. In the Shadow Throne, get 50 Geekotch with the special weapon in one match. Okay, I really can't give you any information about that because for one, I don't know how to pronounce that word. I think it says Geekotch or Gekotch. I don't know. I don't speak German. And I honestly have not seen the map yet, so I don't know what that is. But apparently on the Shadow Throne, we're going to be killing 50 Gek, whatever that says, with the special weapon in one match. And the special weapon, because it's called something wonderful, we know it's called the Wonder Bus. So I'm guessing that's that new sort of lightning electric crappy thing gun that we've seen on the trailer. That's all I can say about that gun. Let's move into the next one. The next one is called Putting on a Show. In the Shadow of Throne, keep a Gekoch alive on the stage for one minute. Okay, so the Gekoch could either be... No, it's not. Now, that actually makes me wonder because we know the Flame Zombie's name. And the Flame Zombie's name is not the Gekoch. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I made a video about it. If I remember, I'll leave a link about that video in the description. But the Gekotch could actually be the three-headed zombie, meaning that the boss is different. I don't know, honestly. The Gekotch seems like some sort of new type of zombie. We've got to keep it alive on the stage for one minute. So, I mean, we've just been confirmed that there is a stage at the theatre in this map. But I'm pretty sure we all seen it in the trailer anyway. Uh, but let's move into the next trophy. Next one is a hidden trophy. If we unveil that, it says Ammo Cons of It. I, 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 I can't English this morning. 
Ammo conservation. I think that's what it says. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't even speak my own language this morning. Um, in the Shadow Throne, obtain the blade without firing a gunshot. Obtain the blade without firing a gunshot. I'm guessing obtaining the blade is not the Easter egg because we're not going to be able to complete the Easter egg without firing a gun. So uh, I'm guessing the blade is just something that we obtained at the very start of the map. But obviously, until we actually get our hands on the map, I can't really give you any more information about this trophy over than we can't fire a gun until we get the blade. So let's move into the next one. The next one is called Not a Prayer. And it says, in the Shadow Throne, after round 20, survive at least two full rounds without anyone leaving the church. So, I am guessing that the church is a very crowded area, packed full of zombies, because this wouldn't be a trophy if it wasn't going to be somewhat difficult. So, we got to get to round 20. Then for round 21 and 22, you've got to stay inside the church. And again, I don't know where the church is at the moment, but I'm guessing in just a few days when the map's out, we will all see where it is. And I'll be definitely going for this challenge as well after the main Easter egg has been completed. The next one is another hidden trophy. And the details is, in the Shadow Throne, whilst inside the museum, kill 250 zombies with the blade in a single match. Okay, so there's another one of the locations names. So at the moment, we've got a theatre, we've got a church, and we've got a museum. So in the museum, we've got to kill 250 zombies with the blade in a single match. Now, I'm guessing the blade is one of the melee weapons that Cameron was talking about, because we actually have a trophy just a bit further back, like I was just like speaking about that said we had to get to the blade without firing a gunshot so i'm guessing the blade is going to be something we get right at the start of the game meaning that this trophy should not be a silver it means we could do it pretty goddamn easy but it's just as simple as get the blade where we find out how to get the blade and then go inside the museum kill 250 zombies trophy complete it really is as simple as that now the next one god damn there's a lot of trophies this time isn't there uh the next one is equal opportunity destroyer in the Shadow Throne, collect Geist Craft from each zombie type in a single match. So is this going to be like ripping the zombie spines out? We're going to be collecting Geist Craft from each zombie type. So obviously in the Darkest Shore, we had the um, the ability to use the Ripsaw to rip out the zombie spines and collect obviously fuses from them. I'm pretty sure that was Geist Craft. I cannot for the life of me remember the name of that but i'm guessing that inside the shadow throne we actually have a way to get it out of the zombies again maybe using the blade again until we get into the map i don't know i will can only read the details of what the trophy is uh is giving us and the very very final one is called lumberjack in the shadow throne killer whistling used each melee weapon in a single match so unfortunately guys the Whistlings are still here. They haven't disappeared. I honestly thought the Whistlings were going to be gone. They're going to be done for because they're so goddamn annoying. But hey, they're a part of the zombies, so of course they're not going to get rid of them. So using each melee weapon, that kind of confirms that there is more than one melee weapon. But I know we've seen the bat. We saw a few trophies talking about the blade. So I think that kind of confirms anyway that there is for sure more than one melee we uh, weapon in this map. And one of the trophies is kill a Whistling using each melee weapon. In a single match now before we do in this video i actually want to compare how many trophies are in this one compared to dlc one just see how many, like, how many there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay there's ten trophies there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh there's ten trophies here as well okay it felt like i was reading a lot more god damn it god oh call of duty or sledgehammer you need more trophies ten trophies isn't enough but hey we get the character challenges anyway um that's going to wrap up the video guys i just woke up this morning and i got a message off one of my friends saying that the trophies are out so i thought i'd jump out of bed make my morning coffee and come and make a video for you guys letting you know the trophies are out showing you through them and actually reading them for the very first time we use you could probably tell it was my first time reading through them because i messed up so much i even messed up on some english words okay just let me off with that one but you can tell that obviously i haven't looked at these jobs before I, I read through them all this morning with you guys i thought it'd be something uh, fun to do as the first video inside my new apartment now if you did like the video be sure to leave a like on it and if you are new around here do not forget to subscribe to the channel because we're going to be live streaming for pretty much the entire day on tuesday when the dlc comes out if you guys are a member of my channel already you guys know that these dlc runs for me i don't stop streaming until at least 24 plus hours sometimes i've gone on for 30 hours i keep going until that easter egg's found because that's just what i like doing so if you want someone that's committed 
that will be there the entire day and then i'll eat and drink at the pc desk i always do that anyway i don't leave i don't stop streaming full 30 hours if you guys want to see that be sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you all on that tuesday morning but until then i will be streaming zombies every single night so if you're a fan of zombies then why are you already subscribed to the channel um other than that all i can say is thank you for watching the video and i will see you all in the next one